Right, and the city besieged Warsaw. Warsaw. No surprise there, I suppose. Here we are. But my um, elite troops are here. They can't quite reach in, but they can get to the bridge. They will be able to relieve the situation, um, hopefully. Unfortunately, there are no elite troops on the way to Budapest. I might even end up losing Budapest. So he's got... Um, I thought he had two armies that had gone past. I can only see one. That's these. It can't be a fog of war in my own country, can it? So where were the others then? I'm sure there were two armies attacking me here. Hmm. Maybe he's joined them together. Oh, that's probably what's happened, isn't it? Okay. Oh, look at those seven men. Whoa. But I'm starting to get men with experience. Isn't that good? Um. Hmm. Right, plenty of men in here to come and relieve them there, aren't there? There's a full army in there. And he hasn't attacked Budapest either. I think those um, losses that they caused on him there have been enough to make him think he can't go for Budapest. OK, I'm going to call that a day for now. Have a think about that um, and decide what I'm going to do in the next turn in the light of those um, circumstances. Well, during the Easter egg hunt today, I decided on a new tack. Um, just been having a look around. There's Vienna, and Vienna has um, a university. I need to upgrade my um, my navy. I can't find the university in there now, but it is a good university. So my choice was to send one of my um, agents in there, it's one of my gentlemen, and try and steal some research, but I've decided against. I've decided what I'm going to do instead. Is it that one there? Yeah, it is. Modern University. Is so I'm going to take Vienna instead. So here we go. Speed that up a bit. He's left it um, without a full 20 in there and without a supporting army. He's moved everything east, so I'm just going to go straight for it. And there we are. Taking quite a few hits on that one, but doesn't matter. It's going to be worth having. So I'm going to peacefully occupy that one. It's definitely a worthwhile place to have that one. So the next thing is, um, I think you can see where I was going anyway with um, Spinelli. Um, that's the um, Italian general that I got the first time I took Italy, or the place that's called Italy. Here we go, it's actually Venice. And I'm going to move him over here and I'm going to take... Um, it says Munich there, doesn't it? It's Innsbruck, that's right. So I'm going to take Innsbruck on the Tyrol. By the way, I didn't show you, but um, in uh, Vienna there were ten units stacked um, to be recruited there this turn. Um, I checked that one out um, while I was off screen. Uh, there's no way I was ever going to allow that happen. Another great army to start appearing over there. So, anyway, here we go. Um, I've got a choice now, of course. I can just um, peacefully occupy. Um, or I can attack it and get some good stats against these troops, you know, and build up my experience. Um, I'm hoping by uh, getting a surrender and peacefully occupying it that um, although I keep my troops... No, I won't, actually. What I'll do is I'll, I'll attack it. I'll do an auto-resolve because it's well in my favour. Um, I should really fight the battle, but um, it's such an easy one to fight that I'm going to let this auto-resolve. OK, there we go, that's a victory. And I've picked up some experience points, and those troops there, they're over 50%, so they should keep their chevrons. It's only ones that go below, like my poor old other army. Was it Zuvova's army, was it? I don't remember. But uh, anyhow, here we go. We take Innsbruck, and we're going to peacefully occupy that one as well there. So that's Vienna taken, and that's also um, the Tyrol taken. Um, now, I, I need to protect um, Zuvova's old army. I think it was Zuvova, wasn't it? So... We take, I uh, apologise, it's been like a day since I played, so um, you probably know much better than me, You're thinking, why on earth doesn't he know that? He's only just been playing it, but um, anyway, it's a bit further back than that. I need to get him where I can join him up with a general, because you notice none of these troops here are replenishing. They're not going to retain their chevrons anyway, but I don't want to lose the army units, so what I want to do is join them up with a general. I don't want to build another general if I can help it. Now we're no, not at risk here, by the way. We have the protectorate over here to the left, and of course we've taken Vienna, so there's no risk from there anymore. So this is Defendi, I think. I think his name is Defendi, or Defendi. He's uh, an Italian, of course. And we'll take him over to... Um, over, I think, to here. Uh, mm, to that bridge. Or this one. This is the question. Where do we defend? I think I'm going to defend this bridge here. Um, 
doesn't really matter which bridge I'm defending, to be quite honest with you. It's just to keep the troops as safe as I possibly can, that's all. So I'll put those in there. And I'm going to bring these troops over here. These are the ones that I told you about that are um, struggling at the moment. They're going to lose all these chevrons because they've gone below 50%, by the way. Here's me showing off at how well they've done gaining chevrons. See now they're all um, uh, gaining um, you know, extra troops now. Um, actually, it seemed that a lot of them lost their chevrons straight away. But I bet you when this unit is fully replenished, I don't get those full chevrons that are there on this one because I just let those troops suffer far too much, I'm afraid. So um, I'm hoping that there are enough troops to be able to reinforce those a bit. Get a few extra men in there. Perhaps not from there. I did raise some recruits in here, didn't I? So, yep, these are the ones where the new recruits have come through. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, leave the usual seven in there. And I'm going to reinforce this army here. Because um, those poor souls haven't really got much going for them at the moment. So that brings them up to um, 19. I wonder if I might just pop another one in there. Are there any other recruits coming along here? I think there are. Yes, there are. Okay, so I think I might just risk putting another one in there as well. Because they are now quite a reserve position, really, in a way, aren't they, down there in Belgrade? Okay, so okay, so um, next thing I want to do is move uh, Bennigsen. That's these troops up here. You remember I decided to go the hungry route, deciding that he was... Um, oh, I need to get this spy out of the way, don't I, to get him moving at all. But um, if you remember, I decided to defend the hungry area, thinking that this was the area that was most at risk. So I'll uh, bring these down. Mm, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just have to risk this, I'm afraid. See if I can keep it with the um, uh, the river on one of our flanks. Maybe the AI will be kind to us during the battle and give us a protected flank from the river. You never know. Okay, so um, uh, it's not a big army, and he's got a full army there. I might even end up withdrawing if he does attack that army, but at least we're getting him into a position where he can support this place, because this place also is at risk. If he were to manage to take this, um, which he could with those troops that I've got in there, compared with the troops that he's got in here, then um, I would then be able to um, uh, reinforce it, or rather retake it with these, because if you remember, there's no... Um, the, there's no wall in here at all. See, it's still going to take about three more turns to build the fortress in there. Okay, so that's the best that I can do there, I think. Now, Paskovich, he's the one that I gave my elite troops to, if you remember. That's um, these over here. I don't suppose they're going to be able to reach. But uh, no, they can't, can they? Well, this is about the closest that they're going to get, I'm afraid. I could do with them getting into our own territory, though. Yeah, I think they're just in our own territory there, aren't they, really? I see he doesn't want to um, uh, attack me, so it's going to have to be me that comes out of here to attack him, I'm afraid. Now, this is going to be um, a battle that I'm going to fight, but what I'm going to do is bring my troops onto the battlefield and then I'm going to withdraw them, and, um, and I'm going to have these chaps here um, fight the battle for me, because I want to build up some good experience um, for these troops here along the way. So, um, I don't know. Would you want to watch this battle? This is one thing I have to judge for myself, I suppose. He's got artillery in there, 12-pounders, good artillery. I've got my howitzers that I can play with now. I really wanted my howitzers for defensive purposes, but um, uh, anyhow, we'll see. Maybe I can um, entice him to come and attack me anyway, I really don't know. He's got fusiliers of the line, um, he's got some here with chevrons on as well. What have we got here? Carazias, and we've got Cheval Le Guerre, um, Cheval Cheval. Um, uh, Jean-Baptiste Drouet. Actually, um, before I do this attack, I think I'll just send in that spy, just to see if we can kill Drouet before the battle. That would give us a really good advantage, wouldn't it? Oh, ho, ho, yes! Oh, yes! Now, that is a good result. Uh, that's absolutely excellent. That means we're guaranteed to um, have the best position on the battlefield there when we attack him. Um, we're going to get pluses that he isn't going to get. Uh, my general has only got four on there. It's Pas Paskovic. Um, what have I got in here? Quite a few troops in here. Now, the thing is, if I attack from here... Well, I can't attack from there because they can't reach. Um, I have to attack from here. So, 
it is going to be my um, poorer troops going in against these and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six spaces under there they're going to be filled as reinforcements by one, two, three, four, five, six so my howitzer is going to come on, my artillery is going to come on and it looks like they're going to come on slightly behind as well as a reserve so and like I said he's got all of this artillery here so anyway let's see, he hasn't got any howitzers has he? I wonder if the French don't get howitzers actually that would be interesting wouldn't it? If the French don't actually get any because they do seem to have got you know all the other quality troops that you'd expect to get so and we only get experimental howitzers as well so hmm it's food for thought isn't it really so okay on with the battle <laughs> 